I'm like having your family on all the time. Like right? Donnie was here, Mark was here. You're like, I mean, your your family's invited all well, the time. Well, you know what? You're like family to us. So. Oh, well, I did hear something funny. So we did this shoot a long time ago for Candies. Yeah. I mean, a long time ago. Long time ago. Like two decades ago. There yes. it is. Yes. And of course, you're on the toilet and I'm in the bathtub. Um, and, but here's the thing, I actually have this hanging up at, in my ranch and my party barn, and I hear that you have it hanging yes. up in your bathroom. It's every morning Donnie goes, hey Kelly, cause she's in my bathroom. I'm like, we have a beautiful bathroom. I'm like, this is where it belongs. I don't want anyone else to see it except me and Donnie. But yeah. every morning he says hello to you. Oh my God, it's so funny. How fun was that shoot though? It was so fun, but here's what I didn't realize too. I just thought, it, they asked me, they were like, you want to do that? And I was like, this sounds awesome, let's do it. And I didn't realize you got so much crap for doing it yes. the previous, like, um, The first campaign, campaign. Yeah, the, the first launch. Campaign. You guys, it was so controversial back then that they literally pulled the magazine off the stands. It was like Why? on the news every hour. I, isn't that weird? Like back then, it was considered so controversial. Now you watch any music video and you're like, that got banned? You know? Oh my God, I, w I didn't even think, I just thought it was funny. Me too, I, did, I, did too. I wouldn't have even thought like controversial at all. And yet it was, the, it was the hardest campaign to do because if you're sitting on a toilet, your body automatically thinks you gotta go. Yeah. So the whole time I'm like, it oh. is. Yeah. <laughs> That is a situation. <laughs> it was a situation. <laughs> it really was. I, I hear that when you first started modeling, you had to take high heel classes, oh my gosh. which I feel like I could still, uh, well, need and take Kelly, right now. Seriously, I'm still not great at it. Nope. But when I first came on the scene, I was 19 or 20 years old when I was at Playboy, and they yeah. said, walk across the room, and it looked like, they said, McCarthy, you look like you went to the bathroom in your pants. Like, literally, yeah. I'm gonna show you how I would walk. And it's like Whoopi Goldberg in Ghost. Remember that movie? This was literally how yeah, I, I- with your knees kind of bent. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. Just balancing myself. It's and not I haven't gotten any better. Now. I can do this. That's about it. Look at you, it's so casual. I'm so and casual. And I can play <laughs> basketball in heels. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this is our next campaign. No people like basketball in heels. Um, you are, we were talking also, Donnie, last time about where you live. So you were raised uh, near Chicago, but you were raised with four sisters, which I didn't realize. Yeah. Four girls in a one bedroom, small bungalow home. Our house was filled. I mean, people are worried about our atmosphere. I think we ruined it with Aquanet. Yeah. Like we had so, my mom was a hairdresser. You so spray she, and blow dry at the same time. Oh yeah. God, curled, sprayed, yes. rat tailed, yeah. sprayed, blow dried it again. Closer it to God. Closer to God. Yeah. It was it was an incredible upbringing, very humbling upbringing, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Really? Cause that seems, well, like hell. Like it seems like, it seems like it's a lot of estrogen. There was a lot of fighting amongst the sisters. Oh, your, your mom, I, I don't understand that. I don't. I can compartmentalize very yeah. well. That would have been hard. The, the, the sister thing could have been. I love them dearly now, but my yeah. sister was a little bit, um, I guess, OCD, and she used to have her underwear and with the names on it. Remember Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday. Okay, well, in, with four girls, we didn't have much money. Sometimes I was out of underwear. So I decided to go and borrow a pair to go to school that day. Ooh, I didn't realize nope. she was counting the days and I wore the Tuesday on a Tuesday and I went to school before her and I went to an all girl Catholic school, you guys. So I'm in the locker, we're changing classes, tons of kids in the hallway. And all of a sudden my sister, in my skirts like this, Catholic school, comes up and lifts it straight up in the air and goes, you're wearing my underwear! And I could not try, I'm trying to put my skirt down, I'm screaming, my face is red, and she's holding it up, making sure that everyone sees. She's like, you're wearing it. I'm like, oh wow. my, I was trauma, I'm still How slightly traumatized from it. Yeah. So we got enough, I, I also punched her in the face, gave her a black eye. This is what I'm talking about, four girls, no. <laughs> I'd rather have four boys. No, for sure. I'm yeah. so glad I have one boy yeah. and, and no a bunch of girls because that hairspray bill would have been a lot yeah. at this point. It's just a lot of estrogen. As I mentioned, Jimmy Sons and Donnie Wahlberg is just here with his band, New Kids on the Block. Be honest. Yeah. When you were younger, yep. who was your favorite new kid? <sighs> oh, that means it wasn't Allie. Donnie. 
Um, you know, I grew up in a very Catholic uh, family. Yeah. And I was very scared of anything bad. And Donnie seemed like the real bad boy growing up. He had the motorcycle. So I kind of lead more toward Jonathan. Wait, that's why I liked Donnie. I know. Like, <laughs> so, 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 I, mean, I was just like, I don't want to go into hell any faster than I already am. Uh, I'm going to go for the good boy. So I was more of like a any jungle. faster than I already am? <laughs> oh, my God, you're funny. And so now I feel like. I oh love God, Jonathan, thinking, too. Yeah. John's great. Yeah. But Donnie. When I met Donnie, man, I was like, how have I, how did I get it so wrong so many years? Yeah. It's incredible. So this is what I have to ask, because you, you did talk about this second marriage. Like, when you go through a devastating relationship or breakup or anything like that, or, or just, I don't know, I feel like we have similarities because I've heard you talk about yes. relationships and just talk, toxicity and things like that. And, and what you maybe go for and you're like, wait, am I the common denominator? Like, what's happening? Right. And like... How did you know, like with him, like that? You, did you think, like, hey, this could work? Because I can't even wrap my head around that. I was right where you were. Kelly. Yeah, I was right where you were. I had a um, a slew of uncomfortable and not healthy relationships. Yeah, and I was like, okay, it's time to do a reset. And yeah. I've always been spiritual. I'm always in a new age. I love improving myself. But I'm like, I'm really going to let the universe know I am shutting this down. Yeah. So I stayed away from any blind dates or any dating, and I really focused on me. So I'm like, if I can upgrade me, then I'm going to upgrade the people I surround myself with yeah. and who I bring into my life. And I told God, I was like, listen, don't bring me half-baked guy. I'm going to yeah. fully bake myself. I need, because you know what I would do in these relationships that the guys were kind of like, eh? I would find myself at a high vibration. I'd get in the relationship, and it'd be like a stick shift. I'd go lower in a gear. You meet them where they are. I, I, I meet them. Now he had to meet me where I'm at. Mm -hmm. And so I really wasn't looking for anyone in particular at this moment I met Donnie, but I went yeah. a full year into letting go of the demons, recognizing why I had went into those patterns. A lot of it had to do with self-love and loving myself and knowing I was good enough. Yeah. And then the moment came, and Donnie was on a talk show I had, and I interviewed him, and I was like, oh, wow, he's funny. I'm like, oh, he's smart. Oh, he's hot. Oh, he's got a good butt. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> and the interview went from six minutes to an hour and a half. The audience and the producers were like, uh, we got to go. And I'm like, I'm in love. That's a date. I was like, yeah, wait, what? I'm in love. And this was the <clears throat> ultimate thing that I learned in all those spiritual things. I kept searching. I thought, because as humans, we desire companionship. We, it's a natural thing to want to be with someone, to share your love. But I came to the realization that you don't need a lover in your life to have love in your life. Hey, yeah, amen. Well, let's talk about The Masked Singer. Let's my sister, I was telling her in the break, my sister and mother love this show more than anyone. They literally, they, I've never been sent more clips than, than anything oh except for this show. So what's happening? What's new this season? Oh my God, we keep leveling it up. And I know I keep saying that each season, but this year we unmasked Kevin Hart in our premiere. Yeah. Hello, Kevin yeah. Hart. And then t this coming episode, you're gonna watch our great themes, Transformers. Transformers are huge, giant, massive, as tall as this soundstage. Transformers come onto the stage and interact with the characters, with us. It's phenomenal. The art department, it's unbelievable. It's, yeah, they costumes, really, all that. And I love being on a show that makes people feel good, brings families back together, something yeah. I can be proud of, something that I could actually show my son that I've done. Yeah. So it's, it's really <laughs> been nice. <laughs> Look at this work. <laughs> right? Between skims and candies. I'm like, here's Mass Singer. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, well, wait, so you created a beauty line. I did, Formless Beauty. A very clean beauty. one. Very clean one, Formless yeah. Beauty. I named it after um, an Eckhart Tolle saying, which is, um, talks about your essence, your soul is formless. It doesn't have a form. And I wanted to remind people that real beauty comes from within. Yeah. Makeup is just, you know, having fun with form. It's it's. Real it's artistic, formless. yeah. And we, we, I just wanted to work so hard on making it as clean as I possibly can because I know mom, yeah. like little kids play with their mom's makeup and people with allergies. I have so many sensitivities. <sighs> Me I've too. got a, a gene mutation. I've got Hashimoto's. I've got it all. So I've, I've got like, some of that. I yeah. need to create a line that serves us, the people that are sensitive and the people who care about ingredients. It okay. matters. No, it does. Thank you. Especially when you live in makeup, like That's for right. your job. Yep. Yeah. Rashes. So thank you for doing it. Thank I don't want to do it. So thank you for doing yeah. it. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. Well, well, let's do a commercial break, everybody. Jenny's beauty line is called Formless Beauty. You can find it online, and you can also watch her Wednesdays as a judge on The Masked Singer on Fox.